Well, you do know I am Chinese. And I do like to play joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I did perhaps put urine into your carbonated cold beverage. <laughs> Son of a bitch! It's pronounced pee <laughs> <laughs> Spelled E P. <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hola, and welcome back to another episode of the Joypad Podcast. I am Mike. Fleming, without a voice, apparently, tonight. Hope you're all doing well. With me tonight, as has been the norm for maybe two months now, basically, is uh, Tom and Mr. Michael Pinto. And, uh, yeah, we're really excited for tonight's podcast because we don't have a topic, but we kind of do have some topics. So we'll see where we go with that. Uh, For now, Tom, sir, how are you tonight? Uh, Have you dived into the void yet? And uh, what are you drinking? What are you playing? How are you feeling? What's life like? Uh, I'm doing good. It's been a time since I've dove into the void. Uh, it happened quite a while ago, and I've never returned. Uh, I'm drinking a LaCroix in there, because that's what they serve in the void. Uh, and uh, life's life's good. This is my last week at my current job. Um, I like the people there. I'll miss them. I'm ready to do something new. I have next week off, and then I start my new job after that. So I'm excited about all that. Uh, I have been playing a teensy bit of Madden, just a little bit here or there. I actually had, uh, we were playing Plate Up together. Spoiler alert. Uh, We have been playing Plate Up a couple nights uh, here and there. And I've been using the same Xbox controller for Windows for forever for Madden, Plate Up, whatever else requires a controller. And it developed like a, uh, I don't even know what to call it, like a gash in the thumbstick. And it was very, you could definitely feel it when you were moving around the thumbstick. Uh, It got very distracting. So I have some Xbox Series X X controllers laying around because I have one of those. And if you have a PC, you can just put it in Bluetooth mode and hook it up to your PC. So I did that. So the uh, old Xbox controller is retired. RIP. Let the new Xbox controller live and reign long into its life. Uh, it's also wireless, which is kind of nice. So anything that's wireless is is beautiful. Uh, if you could see my desk right now, it is covered in wires. Fleming has has seen it. Pinto, you probably took note when you were at my house. All I there noticed are... was peanut butter. I'm sorry. <laughs> the peanut butter's still there. I see it. Uh, <laughs> but there's just a, a ton of wires uh, behind my desk. So um, the the fewer the better. Um, but yeah, a little bit of adding with the new controller. That's why I bring that up, uh, played up, and I started playing a new game for me that I haven't played in quite a while, which is Stellaris, uh, and I enjoy it, and I think um, I think I was telling you guys about this a little bit off the podcast. Uh, I forget who exactly I was telling, but me. the last time I, it was Pinto, that's right, so the last time I played Stellaris, I had fun until I encountered uh, another civilization. And as soon as I did, they wrecked my face. And I didn't enjoy that. That wasn't fun. Like, the fun of the game is, for me, is just exploring, um, finding all these new things. And then if I do have combat with another civilization, I want it to at least be on equal footing. So clearly I'm not good at the game because it's the first time I'm really playing the game. So, of course, I'm going to get wrecked if I'm on... I guess, normal settings doing that. So I did what uh, any self-respecting me would do, which is go Tom mode and set it to easy. I set it to easy and now it's fun. So um, I still have, you know, there's still challenges. I'm still figuring out how things work, but being on easy mode makes it a lot easier to figure out how things work and have a good time at the same time. So I'm enjoying that. Uh, I'm playing as the people of Earth right now. Um, we have a galactic market and society and everything, and I'm uh, doing quite well in the scheme of things, but I did just have uh, another empire declare war on me, 
So I am training up my fleet, sending them after them. Uh, and the next time I fire up the game, we're going to see what happens. But I think it helps, too, that I've played more Paradox games in the interim. Uh, I think the first time I played Stellaris, I didn't quite realize what the framework of a Paradox game is. Uh, and now that I've played Crusader Kings, I feel like I understand, like, yes, this isn't just civilization. You do need to, like, build up your armies and be protected and, you know, be somewhat aggressive in your diplomacy and, you know, take things as quickly as you can and, you know, don't back down. Don't be afraid to, like, attack and seize additional territory. Uh, so once I figured that out, I think that contributed and made it more fun, too. But yeah, so far having a, a very good time with it. Uh, I put in quite a number of hours over the past week. So uh, that is mostly it. Uh, I also played a tiny bit of Stardew Valley today. Pinto, I installed the Stardew Expanded mod. Ah! So I'm finally giving that a try. Nice. Um, and yeah. Uh, I don't know how much of it I'll play or not. I just kind of have had that sitting around for a while, and I was like, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I'll, Did it I'll throw you like... off, like, how there's a lot of new areas and new pads, and you're like, what is this? Where is this? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I So far, I've run into, like, two other people's farms. I was like, what? Where yeah. did you come from? You're not the only <laughs> farmer in town anymore. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know if alarming is the right word, but it's very different. Uh, the pink haired girl's cute though. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I, I don't know. We'll see how much I play of that. Uh, I think Stellaris is probably going to be what I really focus on, but when, when I'm having kind of like a, I need to zone out, have a Zen moment, I'll give that a shot too. Oh shit. And I played another game too. I played scrap mechanic for a little bit. Uh, and it was good. Uh, until I accidentally took the little platform from under the car that I was building like three times, and there was no way I could figure out to put it back, so I would have had to destroy my car every time and start rebuilding it. And like the third time it happened, I said, fuck this, and I quit. <laughs> um, but it's fairly well put together uh, aside from that situation. Uh, it's something I could see myself revisiting in the future. So... I have spoken a lot, as is my way. Uh, Mr. Pinto, how are you doing? Uh, what are you consuming as your beverage? And what are you consuming as your game? I'm doing pretty well. I am consuming some water. And that's it. I thought about getting a soft drink, and I was like, don't need the sugar, man. What's a hard drink? Alcohol. I, I guess that's right. Is that why they call it a soft drink? It's like, this is not alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since any of us have had a hard drink on the podcast, though. We did start doing that. We started off doing that, and then we were like, boy, I just don't need an excuse to drink. We're... I used to drink in college when there was a social occasion. Now I barely drink if there's a social occasion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just drinking water. Um... I have an energy drink that was tempting me in the fridge, but God, why would I do that now? That's for the morning times. Uh, it's a ghost cherry limeade, which I have found myself enjoying lately. Ooh, those ghost ones are good, man. Yeah. Uh, Gaming-wise, I haven't been playing too many games. Mostly um, Crash Bandicoot Warped, uh, the remaster. And gosh, that game's fun. And I I don't want to sound like a Tom here, but I gotta say, Crash 1 and 2 are pretty hard, but Crash 3 is like that sweet spot where, like, some of it's hard, but there are some levels that you can just cruise through and you're, you feel accomplished and it's a good time. So, uh, it might also be nostalgia talking because when I first got a PlayStation, Crash 3 was one of the first games I got. And I did eventually get Crash 1 and 2... But I, I didn't like them as much. Uh, one, because they were more difficult. And two, because I just, I don't know, I like Crash 3 more. Cra Crash Warped was a sweet spot. Like, I knew a lot of people that, like, might not have had Crash 1 or 2, but they had Crash Warped. I remember getting it from the Blockbuster. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I've been playing Crash Warped. Uh, I had this vague notion that I want to 100 percent it, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen. I also was thinking about uh, Crash Night... What's it called? Crash Team Racing. But they remastered that as well. So I think it's called like Crash Nitro Boost T- Team Racing or something like that. I actually really like that game. It's one of those that weird... One. It's one of those weird things where like Mario Kart is the, you know, the, the champion of licensed driving games with, you know, mascots and characters. But there were some other really good ones. Uh, Crash Team Racing was one of them. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. I was anyone? just thinking of that. Yeah, Diddy yeah. Kong Racing was actually really good. So, did you ever play Chocobo Racing? I never played Chocobo Racing. That was in in my high school group of friends. That was the game, uh, the racing game of choice. Yeah. And let me tell you, that game was unfair. <laughs> <laughs> it would like different. Uh, whatever cart you picked, there were vast disparities in top speeds and such. I check it out. I mean, the only other real driving game I was really into because I'm not a car guy, so like I don't care for your Forzas and your need for speeds and all that. I really like the Burnout games because the focus was more on crashing than driving. <laughs> so, yep. Burnout Three is my personal favorite. After that, they kind of I don't know. It, it's it's really interesting to me now that I think about it. How many games there are that there were like trilogies where first one was good and a lot of times the second game was the best but there are some games or series where the third one was really dope crash warped burnout 3 twisted metal 3 i think was the best one that one you were uh, making making me think of twisted metal with the cars yeah confession time i never played a twisted metal game oh uh, i have never played I, any twisted metal game i don't know if they would hold up these days I wonder. I truly wonder. But they were so uniquely interesting because it was just like arena driving shooter. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have like a good explanation for it. It just defied the rest of the genres. I think they they made or are making a Twisted Metal series, though. They should. The reason I know that is because professional wrestler Samoa Joe is in it. <laughs> Oh, you mean a TV series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could. It had a lot of like characters, um, and they all had like unique endings. So you would play through as one person, and uh, they all. It was like a tournament, so they would all do something with like the prize money, like at the end, or they were so, all in it for different reasons, it's like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I was gonna say like a Mortal Kombat or a Tekken when you play through the story mode. Yep. Exactly. By the way, guys, Tekken 8 is coming out uh, relatively soon. Heihachi Mishima is dead for the, like, eighth time. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't he die before? Oh, plenty. Plenty <laughs> of times. I I have Tekken 7. I bought it because it was on, like, Super Sale. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a fighting game guy. I I used to love Tekken, man. I That was my, my game. That one is Soul Calibur. The soul still burns. Well, that's about it for me. Uh, Mr. Fleming, is your soul burning? Yes. With <laughs> desire? Burn. To burn, do what? Burn. I have no idea. Tell me. Tell me about your... This is weird. <laughs> yes, tell not. me about your burning desires in your soul. Please. Okay. Get out of my well, dreams and into my car. I'll, I'll come back to my burning desire in a minute. Um, <clears throat> for now, I'll tell you what I'm drinking, which is a root beer. Because it sounded delicious. And is it, it an IBC root beer from McDonald's? No, it is a Barks root beer from my fridge after Barks bringing it home from the store. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, outside of that, I am doing okay. Uh, what have I played recently? Um, I went back to Company Heroes 3 for a little bit because that campaign is long and I'm still not done. <laughs> uh it's um it's okay like i i like it but the biggest challenge i have at this point is the fact that um a lot of the battles like the like skirmishes they describe it as are the same thing over and over basically like slightly different but the maps are the same and like 
it's like, oh, this time you need to surround their HQ to make them retreat. And then other times it's like, you need to defend this point, you know, with your limited reserves or attack this point with your limited reserves. So, like, it's the same thing over and over. And I never lose because I, I'm i pretty good. And also because um, it's I guess AI, you can usually find ways to, like, trick them and stuff. Uh, snipers, for example, are very good against the AI. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I've been playing that trying to finish that game um it's okay uh, so far um outside of that you guys have both spoken about played up so i don't think i needed to say much more except that uh that game can get really hard uh for me because i'm like panicky but you guys okay. let me you guys let me cook when we made salads <laughs> so i appreciate that but uh, we did well we did we did we did good with the salad industry. We did. We I was throwing potatoes the in the microwave. Our fresh yeah. frozen salads. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. our fresh frozen salads. Uh, that was pretty good. Um, I, I just want to, I love Played Up. I just want to say, like, I, I really enjoy playing Played Up with you guys. And I yeah. feel like the uniqueness of it, like, there's only so many main dishes. You know, we'll unlock a few new ones here or there. But yeah. Uh, every time you play, it feels unique and and different. So I like it more than I like to overcook, but Agreed. overcooked, uh, overcooked, to, like it, it just it was a little bit too bizarre for me. Where played up feels like you're just in a busy restaurant, um, which is kind of nice. But um, <clears throat> you know, I I do wonder what you would assign a fourth person to, because like unfortunately, like we've talked about, Megan's been too busy to play games past month or two um and like i feel like with three of us we have very clearly defined duties like one of us is doing the mains you know cooking the burger or make the tossing the salad yep <laughs> you know yep something you gotta like toss that. the salad you gotta toss the salad so like that's like what one per was like you have one person doing that then you have one person doing like sides and dishes like dish support and stuff like that and then you have a third person who's like cleaning up the kit uh the the dining room and like getting other people involved here and there like uh, or bringing people in and, and getting them the dishes or going and getting the food so like getting those two people involved with the customers um i and like I, I just don't know like how you make it like not to say it would be beneficial to have a fourth person but like if we had a fourth person and we had a really nice kitchen for four people or i guess restaurant for four people how would you ever lose? Like, it just, it feels easy enough, I guess. I, I think they'll I start know. giving you more people and bigger uh, okay. sizes right off the bat. So I think you probably mm, need to have two people it. handling the front of house instead of uh, just one. <clears throat> that's um, that's a good point. And I don't know. I don't know how it would go. I don't either. It'd be interesting. I don't know. One day we'll find out. We will. We absolutely will. Megan um, can't leave us forever. <laughs> she cannot. She is stuck with us forever. Um and then I played a lot of Age of Empires 2. Well, not a lot. I say a lot, but I've been playing a lot of Age of Empires still. Um, because I've been really into RTS games recently. So you can see with Company of Heroes as well. So I uh, was playing that in, interspersed whenever Company of Heroes upset me. Um, or bored me. Uh, but yeah, so that's what's up. Um, now, about my burning desire. Uh, He's burning. Yeah, it's, it's burning, not in my loins, but in my heart. Uh, it is, well, maybe it's in my loins, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. If it's in your loins, you better get it checked out. <laughs> He's but, got the burning peepus. No, I, I mentioned this to you guys a few weeks ago, and then I was like, ah, I'm going to hold off till Pinto is ready. But Pinto, you just have told everyone you're ready. So we are building some new computers here pretty soon, which is super exciting. I know for you, Pinto, for me, it is as well. Uh, it's for me, it's been since 2016 since I built a computer. So a little longer than I think I probably would have liked, but I also got one of the highest end at the time processors in 2016, you know, 6,700 K was pretty new, um, when I bought it. Uh, so I'm just, just want to get some thoughts, feelings out there from you, Pinto, with you getting a new computer and then maybe we'll talk through what we're thinking, why we're thinking it. And then, uh, whatever else you guys want to talk about tonight. Boys, I uh, I have a confession to make. Oh, Tom's building another PC. You can't. What else are you gonna do? You've done I, everything. 
I, I did not build another PC. However, I did find a good price, and I bought a 4090. <laughs> but did you already have one, or did you have a 3090? I had a, I had a 3090. Oh, so, what are you doing with your 3090? <laughs> Selling uh, it to his good friend Pinto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I have a 3090 in my. I have a second PC by my couch. Oh yeah, your living room computer. I saw that. Yes. So my my couch game and with your your octogenarian rolling desk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it works, cool. man. It works. I know. Um, what uh? What what, what, what I will that? say is the um. So I, I got one on special that I put in that one kind of a while ago. Uh, I had one. So the 3090 that was in this computer is is sitting right now. Um, but it was making a lot of bad noises for a while. Uh, and it was really like huffing and puffing even when I was just playing like Madden, which did not strike me as right. Um, so I kind of thought it might be a decent time to swap that out. I just kind of didn't trust it right now. So if one of you would like to uh, work with or purchase said device, I'm, I'm happy to offer it up, but just be aware that's the, uh, the concern that's going on with that one. But uh, yeah, there is a big chungus of a graphics card in my computer now. Yeah. The 4090s are huge. It's massive. It's huge. Uh, so, but and yet it's quieter and the power draw is actually less than what the 3090 was. Uh, that was actually what got me to get it um, because I had always heard that the power draw was more. Um, <laughs> but I looked at some benchmarks, uh, read some reviews that said <clears throat> that yeah, it's almost like a hundred watts less of oh, wow. regular draw. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it was more too. That's surprising to hear. I think the headroom on it is more. So like if you're stressing it to the max, it that can makes, take yeah. up more. But uh, for the most part, because it has the more CUDA cores and stuff, I think it can do more with less. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So that, that's my confession. I don't mean to take away from you guys building PCs, but I, I wanted to get on. I wanted to get in on the game. <sighs> um, it's OK, man. It's OK. I'm happy for you. It's, it's, uh, it's a very high end card. <laughs> I have my uh, bonus for anyone that's listening. So I'm. I'm not being entirely fiscally irresponsible. <laughs> I'm only mostly. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, enough about 4090 for you, because I know for Pinto this is a, a big moment in time. Uh, so, Pinto, why don't you regale us with your last PC build, which uh, was in... So, my last PC build was in 2012. It was a graduation present to me for graduating college, which was a difficult ordeal considering that I got kicked out for a year. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? I deserve nice things once in a while. Let me build a computer. And I'm still using that computer to this day. Uh, if, if we're all quiet for a moment, though, you might actually be able to hear my CPU fan. Yep. Because uh, this, this, this old girl has taken me a long way, but she's... Uh, it's time to put her out to pasture. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've j I haven't really noticed too many performance issues, but it's just it's it's old, and I have started getting to the point where certain games that I'd like to play uh, don't perform well or don't perform at all. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I know I mentioned I bought the Dead Space remake. Couldn't even get it to run. Uh, so, same thing with the Resident Evil 4 remake. I'm not even bothering to buy it. I am waiting until my new computer is completed. And just general things like, you know, I edit the podcast and I do video editing for the YouTubes. And, boy, that, that stuff just, like, chug-a-lugs, man. So, I think it'll just help to speed up my process of... It will help to improve my quality of life, I think. I'll just yeah. put it that way. And I, I'm definitely excited for it. I've been thinking about doing it for, honestly, several years now. But it really wasn't a pressing concern because I was like, it's, my computer still does everything I need it to do. And now it's finally starting to not do everything I need it to do. So that's where I'm at. Uh, there have also been a few concerning moments and I'm, you know, I haven't mentioned this because I'm sure both of you guys will be like, holy fuck, that shouldn't happen. 
where I've turned on the computer and heard like a pop, and then uh, I smell burning plastic. I'm like, boy, I don't think my computer should be running after that. But here we oh, are, yeah. guys. <laughs> Okay, remember how I mentioned the power supply and how you might be able to reuse that for a yeah, few months? Yeah, that's a no. That's a no. no I, no, I didn't say that. that to you, but I was like, no, I'm buying a new power supply. <laughs> because th Wise that decision. is that is likely <clears throat> the power supplies, you know, transistors really starting to go. Um, that's uh, the or, power supply telling you, I've yeah. had enough. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> well, if you guys remember, my uh, power supply died back uh, two years ago. I think it was now. Now, oh, granted, yeah. that was my original from like 2010. So it makes sense that it died. I never heard any pops, but all of a sudden, if it if my video card or I guess my computer in general stressed it too hard, it just couldn't keep up with the watt usage anymore and just died. So, like, as soon as I changed the video card, it was doing that to me. So, um, that's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably best that we get you a new one ASAP. But, yep. like you said, you're replacing your whole computer. So, you'll probably be okay for the next two weeks. Um, just maybe not keep your computer on overnight. And like, Yeah, I've stopped there. doing keep that. a fire extinguisher nearby. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I'd say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's not typically good. And that definitely means you want to replace that. Yeah. Um, ASAP. I'm with replaced it all, baby. Yeah, like, and that's and so. What I was gonna say though is, it's it's really awesome for you. Um, you know, Tom. I actually appreciate you mentioning that you bought a 4090 at this point because here the nice thing about you, Pinto, is that you buy anything basically. If I because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no, just no, no, like, no, no, no. I need but help, I, guys. What I, I need help. Yeah, but what I mean is like, if you bought if you bought a new i3, like just basic workstation. And then through your video card you have in or buy a video card, the performance gain that you're going to get per cost is so amazing. Like yeah. hundreds of percent, uh, you know, efficiency and and power increase. Whereas like Tom, I know what 4090s cost. You spent a lot of money and you got much less performance increase. So that's like super exciting for me for you, Pinto. The fact that you're going to be like, oh my God, computers can go this fast. Like, oh my God, this is what graphics like top end graphics look like yeah. in 2023 so that's really exciting for me for you yeah you kind of have those things it's it's just like i don't want to say it's settling because that sounds mean but like mm -hmm. you, i'm i'm used to what i have you know mm -hmm. so like you know when we boot up a game like the forest even and that game at this point is seven or eight years old I'll still have performance issues with that sometimes. We're like, oh, hold on, guys. My, my draw distance, oh, it's lagging. There's the trees. I can see the forest, you know? Yep. So uh, I mentioned a while back, and we, we haven't gotten back into it, but Sons of the Forest came out, and that was another game where I have j just a big concern. I was like, I don't know if it's going to run, you know? Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned you popped into it a couple times, Fleming, and you said it looks gorgeous and i'm like mm -hmm. but will it look gorgeous on my machine my current machine you know yeah so i don't have that concern running around my head anymore because i'm like i'm gonna have a new computer and i won't have to worry about that yeah i'm uh, i'm really excited for that too my my biggest concern around your pc was that uh, to get a really nice, you know, whole new machine, the budget you have is like, well, what graphics card could fit in there um, in that budget? So, you know, I, I think it sounded like you were going to take the, uh, the old Tom 1080 Ti. Yeah. The yeah. 1080 Ti, which like, I can't believe, I don't know, was that 2014 that that came out or so, Tom? I can't remember for no, sure. No, it's later than that. Later I than that, I want to say even? that was around 2016, 2017. Oh, you know, you, you know what, I'm saying 2014, but I feel like that was the 7, that was probably like the 7 or 800 series was out then. 2017, March 2017, the 1080 Ti yeah. came out. So, I mean, I mean that still is going to be five years improvement video card wise. I um, mean, it's, it's worth noting, though, that I, I have replaced my video card because my old one died. Uh -huh. Um, and this. What was do you have currently? Just a five seventy, I think. Yeah, but you're you're the, gonna lose your shit for a ten eighty Ti because you know. can play you can play Cyberpunk on ultra detail in four K. So, but why yeah. would I? You wouldn't, but you can. So, like, it can run anything you need it to. That was just me shitting on Cyberpunk. Um, 
Hey, my wife has played Cyberpunk and liked it. <laughs> I know. Um, oh, God. This is a complete tangent, and we can go back to talking about PCs in a moment. But uh, there's a um, a podcast I follow, and they post polls all the time about, you know, like competition polls. And it's a music podcast, and Coheed and Cambria wins everything. <laughs> everything they post, Coheed and Cambria always wins if they're in the poll. And recently they posted, uh, what do you prefer, Coheed and Cambria or Keanu Reeves? And boy, was it hotly contested. And uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> my favorite meme I saw was, for anyone who's seen The Matrix, and if you haven't, uh, shame on you. It was a photo of Mouse, and they put the subtitle, uh, Neo's fighting Coheed. <laughs> and I was just like, oh man, that's good. Uh, um, I believe Keanu Reeves won that poll, because how can you hate Keanu? It's an excellent question. I, I do love Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves almost certainly appeals to more people than Coheed and Cambria, and I like Coheed and Cambria quite a bit. So. But my tie-in was that Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk. He sure is. Have they modded it so you can fuck Keanu Reeves yet? No, Keanu Reeves lives in your brain. Okay. I'm pretty sure that he himself thought that mod idea was cool but he was also still uncomfortable with it and i cannot blame him <laughs> that, that sounds about right <laughs> yeah yeah my biggest remembrance of that game is turning it on and picking your wiener yeah <laughs> yeah i forgot you could do that and can you pick like your pubic hairstyle too uh if you can i don't remember but it doesn't surprise me <laughs> i'd like it high and tight please yeah <laughs> Laser me smooth. <laughs> but anyway, uh, PCs, just before we started recording, uh, I actually took the first baby step and ordered my case. Hey, I currently nice. have a uh, a full tower, and boy, have I had so many regrets <laughs> about that over the years. <laughs> Anytime something goes wrong and I have to lug it anywhere, I'm just like, oh, God. Uh, like, Lugging it sucks, yeah, man. Like, I think it's almost two years ago now at this point, uh, something went wrong and I had to take it down to Fleming's house and I was just like, boy, this this is garbage. But I did I, get to yeah. go see Fleming and that was nice. And we, that had was tacos. We, got, we got tacos from House of Tacos. They weren't very good from the House of Tacos. No, but I got to hang you out get with you and your wife. So. Tacos. <laughs> what? And I know we talked about it, but what was, what was the issue? Wasn't it just like that the battery of my motherboard was dead? Uh, yeah, your that BIOS was, was going out, uh, yeah. and because you had a newer BIOS, and the, I I don't know how I remember this, but we had I wasn't there, but I remember helping troubleshoot. Yeah, so you needed yeah. a new we battery you. so it would save the new BIOS, and yeah. so that it could accept your hardware. That yeah, was the issue. That's basically what happened because fortunately I had one of the uh, the CMOS batteries in Full like available. Batteries. Yeah, the seven seven whatever eighty yep. or whatever battery buttons so i was able to give you one of those plug it in and i think we even had to pull out a different graphics card and yes. shove it into your computer to get it to boot and we did then several we different graphic ca graphics cards i remember because you were super excited and you ran down into your basement and pulled up like four and you were like i have all these and you spread them like a deck <laughs> of did. cards yeah yeah i had my my old I had two 460s, a 670, and then we pulled mine. Uh, or we had a an AMD one as well that I have. So we had a couple different graphics cards uh, to to work off of. But then found out it was just your battery, which was which was fun. Took a couple hours, but it, it's such you know. a weird and rare issue. Like that's it the, is the thing. Well, it makes sense though if your computer's about 10 years yeah. old. That thing is probably going to start to die. Uh, yeah. But it took 10 years to do so, which is kind of cool. Everything, so. every it's all starting to die. The the yeah. newest thing on my computer is uh, and it's not even like a real computer thing. It's just a peripheral. I I got a nice set of speakers for Christmas. Like yeah, really nice. So don't have to worry nice. about that at least. Nice speakers are good. Yeah. I mean, what what may I ask what kind of speakers you got? Uh they're Klipsch. That's the brand. THX. The yes. subwoofer is rather large but also rather powerful. 
Let me tell you, I played some wobbles the the first day I got it, and I upset everyone in my house because they were all trying to nap, and I was too excited about my computer speakers, and my brother-in-law was like, are you listening to dubstep? And I was like, yes, I am. (laughs) I I find it hilarious that you uh, and I, whenever we get a new audio piece of equipment, now use some wobbles to test it. Because when I got these these new headphones... uh, I guess it was at Christmas time um, from from my wife. Yeah, she. Uh, I was like, I gotta go play some wobble. She's like, What? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah, so and I was like, uh, Perfect dirtness. Yeah, <laughs> we're throw out uh, wubs and dubs. I'll throw mm-hmm. throw it out there. Uh, shout out to Afixa. I don't know if he even makes music anymore, but uh, he's the artist that got me into dubstep. It was a big part of my l- life for uh, from I'd say like 2009 to late 2009. So yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, but uh, I, I still go back to it once in a while, and it's a really good song to listen to if you want to test out the bass on something. Yeah, absolutely, I would agree. Um, and it was, it's what I've used every time I have a new speaker or audio thing that I'm testing. It's just that song. Um, but that that's exciting. Like I'm, I'm very excited to build that with you and and work through. Like we've been trying to figure out components for it. Like what makes sense for someone. You know, like everybody has different budget, and then they also have different like needs for their computers. So uh, it's been exciting and and uh, yeah. interesting to like try to work through. I guess yeah, because because here's the thing too. Like I, I won't make any bones about it. Number one, I'm a fairly frugal person in general, and number two, like I, I don't make that much money, honestly. So like budgeting something out like this is kind of a hassle for me because like. I want to go higher end because I do it so rarely. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's been 11 years since I built my computer, and boy, that's a loud car. And um, I believe it was about $1,200 at the time. That's what I spent. That, that includes everything, too, though. Monitors, peripherals, even. Like, I had to buy a keyboard. I had to buy mice. Not that those things mm-hmm. are super expensive, but a they whole lot up. of little they things add up. Add up. Yeah. So now, you know, thinking about it, you know, it's been 10 years. How much is $1,200 going to get me now, which is about my budget. And I'm willing to go up a little higher than that because, like I said, I do this so rarely and I want it to hopefully last me, you know, 10 years again, if need be. Hopefully that won't be the case, but I want to be comfortable in that thought if that is the case. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was actually impressed with the uh, reasonableness of what uh, twelve hundred will get you for what you know we were looking at on PC Part Picker uh, mm-hmm. last night, um, and I think you know Fleming, what you pulled together was under twelve hundred bucks, just under. But there's better deals you can find. Uh, yeah, by just like looking for better deals on like different, like you can change out parts. Like most people. Like an MSI motherboard is going to be just as good as a Gigabyte is going to be just as good as, you know, uh, Asus. And then like, you know, that's even one where you can say like there's a lower brand quality of like AS Rock, for example. But like mm-hmm. even theirs are still sometimes really good if you get the right one. So My original, there's a lot of options. The first PC I built, which I also built on like a shoestring budget, you know, back in 2012, I think. It was like the end of 2012, I want to say. Um, I had an, an ASRock motherboard, uh, and I bought, for whatever reason, a mini IT or ATX motherboard from Cost, them. Maybe. But it worked well. I mean, it yeah. it still holds up. I actually um, I sold that case to a friend of mine in Texas uh, a while ago and still running, you know. It's funny you say that, that you bought a mini one, because I remember when I was, like, uh, potentially going to make bad decisions back in, like, 2011, 12, 13, when I first got my my first big boy job. Um, I was reading about people that were making, like, server clusters out of, um, you know, the the most cores they could find on a, a PC or a CPU um, of, like, a version before. And then, like, Azrox, like, bare bones mini mini itx motherboard with like four slots of of memory space so like you know at the time i think like 32 gigs was high but i saw one guy that had like four of them with like four 
older i7s or something like that, um, or, or maybe even like a, a quad core, like an old core two quad or whatever they called it. Um, uh, and then he had, you know, all the RAM sticks filled with like eight gigabyte of like the cheaper stuff that he could find. And it was like four of them. And he, he like built this like a like homemade or a like home cluster kind of thing. It was so cool at the time. I never did it. I was, I was, I was <laughs> able to avoid temptation, but yeah, I mean, they, they can work and they're very good. You just might lose out on some of the features as my, yep. uh, as my camera freezes for a second, it makes my face look all weird on Skype. I saw yeah. that. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's really it. I mean, I, I'm happy I'm on like a full ATX now because, yeah. uh, I, I told you when you were considering what motherboard you were going to get yeah. Um, that for me, having a whole bunch of USB ports is valuable because I have a ton of USBs plugged into my computer. Yeah. Um, so and I, I actually that. having unplugged it yesterday to put the new graphics card in and then setting it back up, uh, I think I have like maybe one or two USB slots open. Wow. So, you know, I'm, I'm making good use of it. It's, you know, I got the right motherboard for me, which is, I think, what's important. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I when we so uh, we'll, we'll continue to talk about your build, I think, uh, Pinto, a little bit longer. But yeah. for me, when we were looking at my kind of idea, uh, my budget's definitely higher than yours, um, Pinto. But uh, I still struggle to spend money kind of like you on stuff where I'm like, do I really need this? Um because I actually considered building mine a couple of weeks ago and and decided I'd rather wait and build them together most likely. Um, but the uh, the the motherboard is really hard for me because like I said, you can get motherboards for like two hundred bucks, very good, very capable, or you can spend like six hundred dollars and get like tons of features and stuff. And it's like, do I like motherboards can be so subjective and like you also have preference like i use gigabyte for a lot of my motherboards i really like them so it's like do i want to like get a good one of theirs do i go a little bit lower quality like what's the best deal here um the so, same motherboard yeah. we just looked at for pinto would feasibly accommodate whatever you're looking for fleming and you're looking for a different uh generation of intel chip you know the mm-hmm. you know a year later but it's the same socket. It's the same, you know, if you're looking at DDR5 RAM, yes, you would need a different yeah. motherboard in that yeah. case. Um, but, you know, aside from that, it's the same feature set, you know? Yeah, and I um, I am going to probably just jump into DDR5. It's come down That's in what price compared to what it's what yeah. it has been. Um, and I, I, I try to make my computers last somewhere between like five and six years. Now, again, this has been a little bit longer, um than before but uh but yeah it's it's um it's just one of those where like i like to have a higher end one just so that then i'm i'm not ever feeling like my computer is not capable and i i have to buy something to make it capable again um like my old graphics card up until a year and a half ago was from uh I don't even remember when, uh, whatever the 670 was out. So I guess it was like 2012, 2013. I just didn't feel the need to replace it. Still worked fine. Like it was starting to drop in like graphics quality as I went. Certain games needed to be played at like the low settings or whatever. But for the most part, it was doing fine up until I can't remember which game. It was a game that we were all going to play. I don't think it was The Forest because. Or didn't know. Actually, I take it back. It wasn't actually dead from like being able to play games. It's just the fans on it started to go, <laughs> and like it was just oh, not. No. It was just like starting to make grinding noises and stuff, and it needed to be replaced from that perspective. I um, remember the grinding noises. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I replaced it. That's right. Now it was a fantastic graphics card. It's just that it had been running every day for eight, nine years, so yeah. it, it just needed to be replaced at that point. I mean, and that can happen any graphics card. You know, yep. like I said, my 3090 was having issues. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, playing Madden, you know, you shouldn't hear your graphics card screaming playing Madden. Especially uh, a 3090. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's yeah. it's all about doing what's right for you. And it's all about fitting your own budget and trying to, you know, do what's right for you within the confines of your budget. And I, yep. Honestly, I think so far we've, found some pretty good pieces for a new PC for you, Pinto. And I, you know, again, 
want to make sure that you're getting the right things for you. But I, I think we've been able to kind of identify what meets those needs. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like I, I have mentioned several times, you know, I don't know a lot about this sort of thing. I mm-hmm. say I built my computer, but, like, I ain't really Fleming built it. So, like, <laughs> it's, you know, and I have no problem admitting that at all. It's just, like, I, so when I uh, became ready to, you know, like, this is this is the time I'm going to build a new PC, I knew I could go to you guys because, number one, I know, like, you'll help me find the right stuff, but number two, like, I know you'll also be enthusiastic about it. Like, you guys just like building computers. You like looking at yep. this stuff. So, you know, I'm mm-hmm. very lucky in that regard that I have two really good friends who I can go to and be like, hey, I want to do this thing, and you guys are both like, fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Instead of just being like, oh, cool. Uh, well, good luck with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's that's something else I was going to say to all of our, our listeners. You know, if you don't like I, I think it's better to build your own. I, I think it, it it gets you a little bit closer to the components, even if you don't know how it was built. Like I, the, what I was gonna say is when I sent that to you, Pinto, I wanted to explain and teach you what I'm doing and what, or what I'm thinking about was right for you and why. Like, oh, you know, y- you shouldn't get 13th gen when you know you're trying to stay in your budget. 12th gen is almost as good. And, you know, they have a lot of great deals right now on 12th gen. And, like, if you're going to go DDR4 memory anyway, it makes sense to just stick with 12th gen. So um, that's why I I thought it was, like, really – it's important for me when I'm telling you that to explain it, not just, like, dictate on high that this makes sense. Or, like, you know, on PC Part Picker, they have, like, build guides of, like, here's the components you can buy. And, like, I've read them. And while they have some good recommendations, I don't always agree with what they have because they are trying to sell it to like a large group of people and everyone's needs are slightly different. So logical increments gets that way too. Like, yeah, I mean, they, do. They, they have good guides, but they'll omit a lot of stuff. And sometimes there's a decent chunk of space between when they'll update what, yeah. you know, fits in. And, and then I personally love looking for deals where I'm like, Oh look, this, like I've already, I've spent, couple minutes here when you guys were talking about something else uh finding a a good set of uh of ram sticks that will actually be a couple dollars lower is just the brand might not be the brand that you like at least that i would normally use but it's probably still good if we research it so what uh, brand is it uh team vulcan i think it was okay or or maybe it's team group and then it's vulcan oh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've actually used that before Uh, i've had team group ram before and it it may have been vulcan I have to refine. I'm going to rediscover the team group, team for T force Vulcan, but it's yeah. the same stuff, but it's only 66 bucks versus like the $80. So you save 15. There's your halfway to a new computer mouse. If you need it. Or yeah. Bob's like your that. uncle. Bob's your yeah. uncle. Yeah. Ram, Ram so, is one of those things you can do that with too. I mean, as long as you're not trying to get like RGB on your Ram, which who cares, you know, like, I, didn't you just say something about sparkly Ram? Oh, could, I, yeah, I saw some on there that I thought was cheaper than what we had already yes. picked out for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can find, like, when, when someone makes RGB RAM that, like, nobody wanted, you can find it for a little bit cheaper because there's people that don't want RGB RAM. So, like, it, I personally find it stupid. I'm like, why do you need RB, RGB on your RAM? Like, who cares? Yeah, but some people really like having the the various colors inside their PC and, like, you know, being able to have a side panel to look in. Like, when I bought my new case, I wanted this case. This was the one I was going to buy. And I it was like 200 bucks or something like that. It's a full tower, so pretty big and expensive. Um, but I was had either the option of, like, a side, you know, like a closed side panel, no window, and, like, it was going to cost 200 Or I could spend an extra $10 to get the side panel. And I'm like, no one's going to, like... If people want to see the inside of my PC, I will open it up and show them. Yeah. And, like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be like, look at my, my PC running right here with the side panel. Like, that was the, stupid. The only value I have, so mine does have a side panel. There, I don't think there were options on it when I bought this case. I bought this case for airflow, not for the side panel. Yeah. Um, but this, uh, the benefit I have of the side panel is my CPU cooler will show the temperature on the cooler. 
so I can see mm. in and get a quick look at what the CPU GPU temperatures are just off the display off that. Yeah, and that's nice. Be, that can be nice. That's, yeah. But that's like the only thing. The rest is, you know, the rest is pretty colors. I mean, honestly, um, the there is RGB on the RAM I got, not because I bought it for that, but because I bought uh, a certain capacity when I bought the computer, mm-hmm. and that is what it came with. Yep. But I can't even control it because uh, there's like certain bio settings I have to enable to make it work. And it's just not worth it to me. So it just does like a little, little rainbow panel. I fussed with it a little bit last night trying to get it to work. And it made uh-huh. my computer blue screen for a couple like oh. times. <laughs> yeah, no. And I was like, I was like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. I'll just let it be a rainbow. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't need it either. It's kind of like when people make it do some cool stuff, it's like, okay, cool. But like. You're, if the if the memory was the same price, I'd be like, yeah, sure, go ahead and get RGB if you want it. But I I struggle to be like, yeah, I'm gonna spend an extra ten or twenty dollars sometimes to get these RGB sticks versus just basic memory sticks. But it's also again, it's a personal preference. Some people like to show off their computer. I like to show it from a like you know performance a utility, perspective. A utility yeah, look what standpoint. I can do. Yeah. And I I think honestly it's one of those things where like if I had fuck you money like yeah I would do that <laughs> you know what I mean but I don't so I I'm not going to yeah that's a good point too if if m- money is not an object but I hope like it's gonna sound bad but I think it's also at least my personality if I have that degree of money that like I'm just willing to be like yeah I'm spending an extra ten bucks just to like flex on people this color of my computer like I hope I. Ne- I hope I have that much money to be able to do that, but I hope I'm never that kind of person who wants to spend the money to do that. Just, 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 just ten dollar flex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, I don't know. I just I, I don't know. I struggle with that. That's but, flexing uh, that, on them. Look at uh, that extra ten <laughs> bucks in my RAM. That'd be like if we went to Taco Bell and you were like, yeah. "Don't worry." I got it. Yeah, Cause like, exactly. We'll, like, we'll pay for each other's <laughs> meals from time to time, but we never make a big deal out of it. We're just like, oh, no, don't worry, man, I got this. But that yeah, yeah. that would be like making a show out of it. Like, oh, you want to customize your chalupa? I got you. <laughs> Hang on. I got that extra 10 cents for Spicy Ranch. Oh, quick tangent. Just so you guys are aware, uh, the volcano menu's coming back. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Taco Bell. Taco I haven't Bell. had Taco Bell in a long time. I might be the longest Taco Bell. Yeah, it's been a right while now. since I've had Taco Bell, too. Uh, it's been about a week. So. <laughs> I was oh, going to say, it's been a couple weeks for me. It's been months. Maybe well, even a year. Well, now we know what to get in a couple uh Got to end weeks, that sir. drought. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, I got to, I'm, I'm still on my diet, so I just can't have the shells right now. Oh. Ah, uh, well, you got to get off that diet for one night, so you can have all <laughs> hard tacos. All hard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm very excited for it. I didn't even talk about what I'm going to do. Um, I'm, uh, blessed that my, my budget will be higher, um, than yours, Pinto. And I have never had like the 900, if you will, of a, of a, uh, computer series. So like, I remember this, I think it was the 9900 K. I really considered it. I was like, I really want it. Like it's super powerful. It's got you know more cores than they've ever done at that point. I think it was like six cores, um, which now is hilariously low because uh, both AMD and Intel have boosted it. But I was like, I really want one. So now that 13 series is out, I'm I'm almost certainly going to get the 13900K, which I am incredibly excited for. One because it can boost to like five point something gigahertz. Provided you know your motherboard and your uh, your cooling and your power can handle it, um, but also it's got an, a lot of cores. And as someone who has, well, actually it's closed right now. But as someone who has like four or five virtual PCs uh, and VMware stuff running, um, I am really excited to have that because if I'm running my VMs, my computer does start to get a little slower. So especially when they're doing things. So I'm really excited. That's the, probably the one I'm going to go with. Um, I probably won't change out my video card, but outside of that, I'm really excited for a new processor. Yeah, man. New uh, a new processor is yeah. fantastic when you've been on an older one for a while. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I'm trying to think what I had 
I think I had an i5 for a while. And then I had a, I think it was a 7000 series. I had an X series processor. Yeah, you did. Which is like a 4 gigahertz, 10 plus core thing. Or maybe it was 8 cores, I forget. But it was like higher than usual for that point in time. Yeah. And yeah, that thing roared. It was nice. And that's that's what I use still in the, the couch computer. So yeah. there's a... And- it's nice. That's and I'm a, on the 12 series on this one now, so this is like the right time to jump up to a new class, which yeah. is nice. That's why I also like upgrading every about five to six years because uh, like pencil, yours is probably a little bit outdated to really do anything like this, but though you might find a purpose that you can use it for. But the fact that like when you build a PC, you have all your old PC stuff and you can maybe find a use for it. So like I'm still using uh, an i7-950 for a NAS, that's like going mm-hmm. on right now, which is still for a NAS. It's totally it's fine. NAS. It's, it's a NAS. It, yeah. It's, it's going to be fine with that. Um, I also have a uh, 2600K Sandy Bridge in the basement like that I can use for something. I just don't do enough with the, that one. But like it's sometimes nice to have that extra like leftover components because then you can find it like a, a new purpose where it's going to perform fine for that. Like a you know, a a media kind of thing, a Plex server, a NAS, like all these other kind of things, you know, you can, you can use those for, and they'll probably still scream, um, you know, putting out that, like getting through that data that they have an older PC downstairs. It's going to be a DayZ server one day, you know, that's perfect. (laughs) It'd be awesome. Banana hammock adventure too. That's what it's going to be called too. Absolutely. Oh, I don't want to jump on Tom Gerhardt's uh, banana. I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to put my name on it. It's just an homage to the original. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Tom's banana hammock. Oh, that'd be fun. You got to yes. have a banana hammock adventure. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I love hunting for deals with that stuff. So I think we're going to have some pretty awesome, uh, awesome computers at the end of it. And you will all hear the the sheer joy radiating from my voice when we record record the first new episode on my new computer. Guys, Mm -hmm. it's happened. (laughs) It's brilliant. It's working so nice. There's no words. They should have sent a poet. Which is (laughs) ironic, considering I have a degree in professional writing. For your professional poetry writing? God, no. I, dude, you know what I wrote poems about. You were in oh, that I class. Indeed. Yep. That class was great, though. I wrote about Cheez-Its. Paradise <laughs> Blend. Paradise Blend. That was it. <clears throat> well, anyway. Hawaiian, Hawaiian Breeze was the Glade plug-in we had in our uh, dorm room. That's that right. smell yeah. like and a then, ridiculous amount of pineapples. And then when we, uh, when you guys, or when you became an RA and, um, I moved next door with Alex. The guys that moved into our old room were like, God, it smells like a Hawaiian breeze here. (laughs) (laughs) They did. That's exactly what it smells like, my friends. (laughs) All righty, guys. Looking at the the clock here, I think we're out of time and... Jump, before we jump into another topic, I think it makes sense to end it here. New PCs, super excited. Or... Pinto is excited for his... I don't know. We can figure it out. Topics Pineapples. Topics. Do they belong in PCs? No. Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. No. For three days. The acid will be three. very bad for every component in there. <laughs> does that mean? Does that mean that you uh, that you allow other people to use your PCs? You guys ever hear about what pineapples are? Oh for? yeah. 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 No <laughs> thanks. You're doing it. You're you're swinging with your PC. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, fans and listeners. Thank you so much for listening to us. Get excited about our new PCs. Check us out, joypadpod.com. Uh, you will find a link tree where uh, you'll be able to find our YouTube and Facebook and Twitter that we didn't ever post on because Elon Musk devalued that. Elon uh, Musk banned us from Twitter. Make yeah. us popular. Yeah, I'm not going to pay for the check mark. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, he probably did. Um, I'm sure there's other things on there, too. Go there and you'll find stuff. Uh, otherwise, I think I didn't miss anything of, it, of importance. Thanks for listening. Uh, Tom, take us away. Y'all, build a PC that works for you. That's all I'm saying. Take the time. Figure out how to do it. 
Uh, it, it's a lengthy endeavor, but it's a worthwhile endeavor. And it will make you stay joyful. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.